Welcome. My name is Jerry Sunarine, and today's lesson we will look at how can we determine the area of a rectangle that we can show. So before we get into today's lesson, we're going to go into a bit of a review. So we want students to understand perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. And when we we're looking at this figure of a rectangle, we add up all the sides, all four sides, to get our perimeter. However, sometimes we don't need all of the information known to calculate our perimeter. Here is an example. For the perimeter, we add up 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7. So we're adding up all the sides. However, we notice that since two of the sides are the same and two of the sides are the same, we can simplify it even further. So 2 times the 3 and 2 times the 7, we can still add that up. Since there's double the size, we can even simplify it even further by distributing a 2 on the outside. And in parentheses, we can combine the 3 and the 7. So if we add the 3 and the 7, we can multiply that answer by the 2. Again, the 3 and the 7 indicate the length and the width of the figure. So even if we have one length and one width of the rectangle, we can still calculate the whole area because we know the rectangle on the opposite side is congruent or the same. Okay, so in addition to this, we're going to look at how can we find different rectangles with the same perimeter. So let's say we're given the problem of how many rectangles can you create with a perimeter of 12 units. The first thing that we want to do is divide the given perimeter by 2, then find pairs of numbers that add up to that number. So since our number that we're working with is 12, we divide it by 2, giving us 6. And with the number 6, we're going to think of numbers that add up to 6, which is indicated in this box over here. We have 1 and 5, 2 and 4, and 3 and 3. And when we look at our different rectangles, we have three different rectangles. Each of them have the same perimeter, but in today's lesson, we're going to look at how, even though they have the same perimeter, they have different areas. So here we have two different rectangles, and here, notice how this one would be considered a square. It is still called a rectangle because we know that a rectangle with four sides of equal length is a square, and we want students to make that distinction. So it's okay if the sides are the same. It is still considered a rectangle. Okay, now we're going to go into today's lesson. So given the problem, use the square unit tiles to build as many rectangles as you can with a perimeter of 18 units. Label the side lengths of each rectangle. Find the area of all the rectangles in part A above. So when we're doing this, we want students to pause the video, think about the steps. Some students might need the steps in front of them to work through, this, work through the problem, as well as we can provide what we had on the previous slide, like this, to students while working on the problem so that they can model what they need to do. Okay, so we're going to go back to this original problem and we're going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's just working through this problem. Again, the magic number we want students to realize is 18 units. We want them to divide it by 2 and find pairs of numbers. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. And then we're going to think of numbers that add up to 9. So we have four different combinations of numbers adding up to 9. So here we have four different rectangles. Each of the rectangles have a perimeter of 18 units. So even if we plug it into the values, we still get our 18. Next to the rectangle here, we also indicated the area. So for in this rectangle example, we have, we multiply one times eight, one times eight gives us eight units squared. And it's important when we're looking at area that the units, when we're writing our answer, it's units squared. That is a usually a um, error that students make. Perimeter, it's fine with units, but area, we want them to understand that it's units squared do that for the other rectangles and we see in this rectangle we have 18 units squared by doing 3 times 6. In this rectangle we have 2 times 7 giving us 14 units squared and then for this last one is 4 times 5 equals 20 units squared. We can have students think about which area before complete before creating rectangles which area could be the lowest or the fewest units squared, or which one is the largest unit squared. Have them think about, is there patterns with this? Okay, we're gonna look at another problem. So the same problem we're gonna be looking at is 
Now we're going to look at a perimeter with units. Same exact problem, but now we just change the number. So what we can do is we can have students generate this on their own in multiple steps. We can have them think about how many rectangles. You can think about how many rectangles and then create them. And we can um, share that on the next slide. Okay, so when thinking about how to do these um, problems, we want to think about using 16 as our key number. We're going to divide it by 2 and we get 8. So we're going to do different combinations that give us 8. So here we have 1 and 7, 2 and 6, 3 and 5, and 4 and 4. So same thing like in the previous problem, we have all the examples here. Each of the perimeters, they add up to 16 units and the areas are different. Okay, so when we do something like that, um, we have the indicated areas and four different areas for each of the rectangles. Okay, and then the last question that we're gonna discuss is how many rectangles can you make with a perimeter of 20 units? Now, just as a bit of a practice, we're using 20 units as our starting number. So we can have students think about, this could be a problem where we can have students initially think about the problem before getting into area. So here um, we, can um, we can work through the problem and provide students guidance on how that looked like. Okay. So here, since we're only asking students how many rectangles they can create with 20 units, um, we can have them still go through the process, but without calculating the area. So here we're just dividing the given perimeter by two. So 20 divided by two is 10, and we think of different combinations that give us 10. So with this, we have five different rectangles, and they all give us the same perimeter. Okay, now we're gonna go into our summarization. Now, when we're thinking about how can we determine a perimeter of a rectangle that we construct, we want to divide the given perimeter by two and find pairs of numbers that add up to that number. So if in the previous example, we looked at 20, we divide it by two, and then we add up two numbers that equal 10. And those two numbers will indicate one indicates the length and one indicates the width, giving us our dimensions for that rectangle. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day.